Korea Aerospace Industries has signed a $920 million deal with the Malaysian Defense Ministry to export 18 F-A-50 light attack aircraft. The Korean F-A-50 and India's Tejas were the only aircraft on the final shortlist, while the Chinese JF-17 and Russian MiG-35 were out of the tender in the technical rounds. South Korean officials have said that the deliveries will start from 2026 which could be followed with another follow-on order for 18 more aircraft. The project director of Tejas Mark II program has said that no other single-engine fighter jet of this class in the world can carry eight beyond visual-range missiles in air superiority configuration that sets it apart from other combat aircraft manufactured by global corporations, and 16 countries have already shown interest in the fighter jet. The project director also said that the combat mission endurance of Tejas Mark I is 57 minutes, which is 120 minutes for the Tejas Mark II. The Indian Army has raised the first regiment of medium-range surface-to-air missile system in the Eastern Theater. The MR SAM system is also called the Abra Weapon System, which is a 70 km range high response quick reaction vertically launched missile with a speed of over Mach 3, that is designed to neutralize aerial threats such as missiles, fighter jets, helicopters, and guided rockets. The report by Jane's Intel that the Indian Army has placed orders for the QR SAM have been found to be false, as the chairman and managing director of Bharat Dynamics have said in an interview that the QR SAM will undergo further user trials by the Indian Army later this year, which will continue until the end of 2023, and the order is expected to be signed by the end of 2024. The chairman also said that the company is expecting an order for two new regiments of Akash Prime missile by third quarter of financial year 2023. The Indo-Tibetan border police is all set to procure 450 high-powered 762 by 51 mm bolt-action sniper rifles that must have a range of over 800 meters, which will be used by its field units deployed in high-altitude areas. It must have an integrated telescopic sight for both daylight and low-light conditions, a detachable sound suppressor, and the ability to function effectively in temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. Boeing has briefed the Indian Air Force on its KC-46 Pegasus military aerial refueling and strategic transport aircraft at the recently concluded Aero India 2023, and Boeing officials have also offered to provide all the support required for the Israel Aerospace Industries and Hindustan Aeronautics to convert six pre-owned Boeing 767 aircraft into cargo configuration with air refueling and transport capacity. Israel Aerospace Industries and Hindustan Aeronautics are currently working on a detailed proposal for the time frame of the project and program cost, after which they will approach the Indian Ministry of Defense for funds. Embraer has announced that the company is ready to offer a C-390 aircraft to Indian Air Force for technical trials purposes to demonstrate its capabilities. Embraer is having talks with Hindustan Aeronautics to jointly manufacture C-390 with a high degree of transfer of technology and indigenous content that can perform a variety of missions using the same platform, with simple and rapid reconfiguration between the different configurations using conversion kits. The Indian Coast Guard has said that it is going to place orders for nine more Druf Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III for deployment in operational areas. The Coast Guard is also looking to replace its 19 single-engine Chetak helicopters with the Druf Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III. India's MKU Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation, under which MKU would leverage on the advanced technology from Dassault Aviation. MKU Limited has also been selected by the Indian Air Force to build indigenous high-quality Cabro aviation helmets for its frontline fighter jets.